Hello and welcome back. Uh, so yeah, I finished um, coloring. I'm just going to just notice this. wasn't quite lined up, but that's fine. Uh, yeah, just going to do the colors now. So I finished the widow picture down the bottom, and now I'm just gonna give some of these backgrounds some color. So all of the frames that are, uh, that have Overwatch in them will be this blue, and I think the frames in my players will probably be um, like a off eggshell because that's the color of the walls I suppose um, backgrounds um, just so it's not all just like white this will be white, the top one can be white. Cool. Alright, and that kind of breaks it up a bit too. Okay, so first colour is going to be bronze, so I'm going to pause so that I don't have Facebook. I always do this. One moment. Alright, so first colour is bronze. So that's going to be... Uh, just trying to decide on like what kind of bronze we're going for. It's probably more of like a this color. I mean, I could let's just do this like proper. So we'll get our color swatch here. So we probably want something like that. Take this off. Go back to bronze. All right, so we're gonna color all our portraits. Um, not like that. I wasn't going to bother with colour, but I don't know, I think it'll look better once it does, so um, we'll, we'll do that. So, yeah, so we've, we've hit Friday, so the weekend. Um, and uh, next, so next week I'll do a video on Wednesday. Um, I should be able to do something on Thursday. I have to remember to take my. Oh, actually, no, I have all all morning, so that's fine. Um, Which is fine. Um, and so, yeah, I was just saying, I was just thinking maybe I won't be able to do, like, I have to do a catch up video either Thursday or Friday, but I think I should be fine. Um, which is good. So as, as I was saying, in the game, these are actually, um, uh, have a gradient on them, but we're not going to get that technical. Um, so we'll just color them in. fine and uh yeah I think tomorrow we should be back on the baneling um which will be good 
I just wanted to do something for a break. You know, sometimes you've got to um, have a break. And I would like to do m more videos. I know it's been very heavily on stuff that is for like a proper showreel, but maybe it'll be worth doing things that are not that, you know, you know, there are, there are things other than just doing art that will help you with, with achieving what you want, um, and not in the ways that you would think, so talking about, like, hanging out with people and, like, being social, because sitting yourself in a room to just work on one thing, although it can be very, it can be very productive and you get a lot done, uh, you'll just end up going crazy so it's good to take breaks and go for walks um, catch up with people if that's what you like doing um, go to the movies doing stuff like that doing other forms of art uh, assuming that like what you're aiming for is art um, but like I don't know say you're working on a few pieces for a music portfolio or something like that and maybe it would be worth going to a concert and listening to other people perform um, I'm not talking about big concert like something local or a busker or someone else doing the performance so that you don't feel like um, so that it kind of frees you up from being creative and just enjoying someone else do the creating. I'm sure, I'm sure a lot of the quote unquote arts um, disciplines do the same. Um, I'll watch someone else do art or look at other people's art. Um, or talk to people about what they're doing or uh, I'm not very good at going to galleries but maybe that's something that I need to look into um, I've actually looked into doing other pieces so stuff that's not just this um, and this for example this is taking a break even though it's creative it's still taking a break from what I am doing so that I can just work on something that doesn't doesn't matter if like I've obviously tr I'm not saying I'm not trying like I would I am aiming to get better at 2D drawing as well um, but th that is sort of alongside the bigger aim which is to be better at 3D art um, so yeah, doing stuff like this does improve that drawing, like I can see improvements in like how I draw arms, um, getting better at drawing hands. I mean, I trace this, this Widowmaker, um, both of them, um, and not very well, but it was quite, kind of almost the point. Um, but, uh, you know, just things like that. Cool, so they're all coloured in. Uh, I guess... Oh, I need to draw the sleeve. That's, that's fine, I can do that later. I guess we'll just continue painting the Widow. So let's do like pink. So Widow pink. Widow pink. And we'll bring our Widowmaker image up. And we'll get... Yep. And we'll go back in here, and we'll paint over that. So that's this area. I think it's more of a purple, but it doesn't really matter. The good thing about digital art is that it doesn't—it doesn't matter. You can change absolutely everything with it. 
Um, more things are quicker to change than others, but pretty much everything is changeable. Um, would find it very hard to think of something that isn't. So probably, uh, this is going for a bit longer, but probably just finish off this pink on the small widows and then I'll um, end it there. I'm being, being too careful. Like I said, I can alter this by erasing the mistakes. So we can almost just kind of do... of the last one but uh yeah look uh, I guess as a final note um just uh I guess just remember to if you are working on stuff have those breaks don't go insane um unless you're really pushed to finish something on a certain time um, better to take your time but there's all there's the thing that is obviously and every artist has it that you want to make things perfect but sometimes it's also worth just ending a piece and calling it a day so that you don't go insane trying to fickle, fix all the little mistakes um, and just learn from that Anyway, I'll leave it there. Hopefully you've had a good Friday and I'll talk to you again tomorrow. Alright, cheers guys.